morning blue class today we are going to do some revision of all the sounds that we have covered so far let's see if you can remember how we pronounce the sounds first one we have over here is the r. here we have the m and the l here we have a r. Do you still remember which one this is? Yes, the W. Here I have a H. And the last one is the M. You are so clever. You can pronounce all the sounds correctly. Let's see if we can still write it. Right, let's have a look if we can still write the sounds correctly. Over here I have all the sounds. And we are going to write it in something that we can feel, something sensory. You can use seeds or rice. Teacher has kinetic sand, or like we call it, magic sand. And then, of course, also a earbud. Let's just quickly say the sounds with me again. W, R, M, H, L, N, V. Okay, let's quickly start. We're going to start with our M. We start at the top and we go down, up on the same line, make a little loop, up again, and a full bunny hop. Now we're going to use our earbud and we're going to write the M again. Down, up, bunny hop there, up again, and another bunny hop. Right, there we have the M. Let's do our R. As always, we start at the top. We go down, up the same road, and a little hat. Oh, still have to write it with our earbud. Go down, up again, and a little hat. Let's quickly fill this up again. Now the W. Straight down, up, down, and up. With our finger, we can go down, up, down, up. That's a nice W. And the last sound that we've done was with Harry the Hat Man. Let's do our H. Down, same line up, and a full bunny hop. The finger, down, up, and a full bunny hop. Let's put that one away, and we take our N. Let's just quickly cover this up again. Our N, start at the top, down, up, and over. Let's do it with our finger, down, up, and over. And our V. There you go. A little bit skewed down and up again. Let's try with our finger, down, and up. And now I only have one sound left that I have to write. Can you guess? Yes, the easiest one. The L. At the top and straight down. As easy as that. Let's do it with our earbud just for fun. Straight down. There is our L. Well done, Blue Class. You can pronounce the sounds correctly. You can write it correctly. I think I'm going to give you a little challenge now. On my board over here, I have a couple of baskets filled with apples. Let's have a look. This basket is a H basket. H for house. Here I have a R for volcano. I have a R for robot. A L for lion. W for worm. A M for mouse 
And the last one at the end is the N for nest. In this little container, I have a couple more apples. Now we are going to sort this according to the beginning sound. But you will have to help me with this one. Right, let's have a look. The first picture I have over here is a moon. What is the sound that you hear right in the beginning when I say moon? That's correct, it is the moon. Mm. So now I'm going to put my picture with the moon in my moon, my moon basket. Where do you see? Please show me quickly. Oh yes, of course, there where the mouse is. My next picture is a picture of a hive. Listen carefully when I say the word hive. What is the first sound that you hear? The h, h for hive. Can you spot the h basket? Yes, right next to the house. Oh, look what teacher has over here. A log. What sound do you hear? Log. Yes, it is definitely a l. And I'm going to put my log in my little basket. Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, yeah. The lion and the log. Here I have a pretty picture of a wand. Wand starts with, I hear it, the w. Oh, look at this chap. It is a vulture. Vulture starts with a v. Let's put him next to the volcano. Here I have somebody that is very important to us and is really doing an awesome job these days. A nurse. What do you hear? Right at the beginning. Nurse. The n, definitely the n. Let's quickly put the n in the n basket. You are doing awesome. Well done, Blue Class. A rabbit. What do we hear? Rabbit. Ah, that was an easy one. Of course, it's the r. Rabbit and robot. Both starts with r. A wheel. Yes, it's the W. Oh, we have three apples in our W basket already. And here I have a very cute little horse. That's also the soft sound that we hear in the beginning. Horse. Ah, the H. Let's put him over here. Here I have a mushroom. What do you hear? Mushroom. Yes, the hmm. Oh, another one with three in already. Here is a very cute little insect. The ladybird. Yes, I hear it. It starts with the l. Ladybird. Look at the sparkling ring I have over here. What sound do you hear? Ring. Definitely the r. Now where's my r basket? Oh, you show me. Thank you. It's over here. Here I have a musical instrument. The violin. Oh, that's very easy. Violin starts with v. Vulture, volcano and a violin. Look at this red wagon. What sound do you hear when I say wagon? Definitely the w. Yeah, I'm catching a butterfly with my net. What sound do you hear when I say net? I hear the n right in the beginning. There I have my net in my n basket. This little guy is eating a banana. What kind of animal is this? A monkey, definitely. And it starts with M. Mm. Monkey starts with M. Mm. Here I have a rainbow. I hear it already, you are so clever. Rainbow starts with R. 
Oh, my baskets are beginning to be very full. Something that I can smell with? A nose. Nose starts with? Mmm. There you go. Oh, I only have a couple left. Only three. Let's see this one. A leaf. The leaf on the tree starts with leaf. With a leaf. There you go. There's my leaf. The second last one I have over here is a van. A van starts with? Ooh. Where's my... There you go, my... Ooh. And my very last picture I have over here is a picture of a hat. And hat starts with... There you go, the hat. Now let's have a look at all these pictures that start with the sound on the baskets. Thank you so much for helping me with that. You are super clever. I think it's time that you take a little rest and then we are going to come back for a writing activity. Are you ready for your writing activity? Let's see what do we need. Of course a page, a nice big one a black koki, and your colored monomies. First, you're going to fold your page. You take the edges at the bottom and you fold it up. Make sure that the sides are on top of one another. Fold it down in the middle, and there you go, just flatten that out. Now we turn it up, fold it again, and one more time. Now my page has been divided into eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the top left hand corner you can write your name. In each of these blocks, you are going to write one sound. You can use your flashcards to make sure that you can write it correctly. Teacher is going to use my wooden letters again. Over here I have a hmm. So in my first block, at the top, I'm going to write my hmm. Let's see which is the next one I'm going to do. The hmm. Now I'm going to write the huh. Now we're going to the last four blocks. Uh, what? Which one now? The R. Only two more. My R. And the last one, you've guessed it, it's the L. With your black cookie, you are now going to draw a picture that starts with a sound over there. For instance, like we've done mm for mouse or uh, for hat. You can now think of your own words and then you draw only one picture of each one of these beginning sounds. When you're done, you color them in with your uh, pencils. Teacher is not going to show you now what to draw because I want you to think on your own. Blue class, you are super clever. Remember to send some photos of the work that you've done. We love to see that. And I will see you very soon. You have a great day. We love you lots.